Hi everyone, today I'm back with another physics question from Young and Freeman's University Physics Textbook. Here I have with me question 2.67. Let's get started. A sprinter runs a 100 meter dash in 12 seconds. She starts from rest with a constant acceleration, AX for three seconds, and then runs with a constant speed for the remainder of the race. What is the value of AX? So as usual, let's start with the diagram. And let's say that this is the distance the sprinter is running. And we're gonna label this as 100 meters. And she runs this, we know in T is equal to 12 seconds. And let's say that well, here we say that she starts from rest with a constant acceleration AX for three seconds and then runs with a constant speed for the remainder. So arbitrarily, let's just say that for this portion, she is, this is three seconds and this has an acceleration of AX. That means for this remainder portion, it's, she's going to be running at this constant speed. So let's go ahead and write down all of our givens now that we understand the problem a little bit better with the diagram. Well, we know that um, total distance, so this total distance is equal to 100 meters. We know that it takes her 12 seconds altogether. We know that in this red portion right here, she starts from VI is equal to uh, zero meters per second. She starts from rest, right? As we said, established right here. And she accelerates for, she accelerates with a constant acceleration of AX, which we don't know. And this happens for three seconds. And we don't know what D is, right? We don't know what this distance is right here. And we also don't know what final speed she finishes with. These are the two things we don't know. Now for this second portion right here, for this part right here, what we know is that she is running with a constant speed of BF and that is something we don't know, but we, uh, we know that this is the same speed as this, right? And we also know that the time she runs this constant speed for is nine seconds. So now what we, we know is that the distance that she runs in this red portion plus the distance she runs um, during this green portion all together is equal to 100 meters. But what we don't know is what this distance is here. And what we can do is we can tie these two pieces together to figure out what AX is. And to do that, let's, let's start off by writing down an equation for ourselves. So we know that D, let's say this is D1 and let's say this is D2. Some equations that we're familiar with, some information that we're familiar with is that D1 plus D2 is equal to DT. We also know that during this portion, this red portion, the distance D1 is going to be equal to of v naught t plus half of a t squared, and that's using our five kinematic equations. And we also know that during this green portion, the distance two she's going to be running is vf times t, right? Because there's no acceleration here. And what we can do is we can rewrite equation one with equation two and three. So we know that V naught T 
which is actually zero, right? This portion is just zero. It's half of eight X T squared. T1, let's just label that to make it more clear. Plus VF T2 is equal to 100. We can sub in values for T1 and T2, but we still don't know what um, AX and VF are. So we need another equation. And looking at um, looking at this, we can use these three other variables or these four other variables, right? To write another equation. And using our five kinematic equations, we know that um, this is one of them. So we don't know what VF is, but we know that VI is zero. And we know that VF is equal to eight X times T. So now note how we can make a substitution here, either as AX or VF using this new equation that we just came up with. And we can plug in our values for T1 and T2, and then we can solve for AX. So because in the question we are looking for AX, let's, sub let's substitute for VF. So let's write this down again. We have half of AX T1 squared plus VF, which is AX T1, um, right? Because we were using these variables, um, AX T1, times T2 is equal to 100. And if we plug in our values, we have half of AX T1, we said it was three seconds squared plus AX three times nine is equal to 100. And I'm going to plug in our values right here. I'm getting 4.5 for this, 4.5 AX plus 27 AX is equal to 100. And if I plug that into the calculator, I am getting AX is equal to 31.5, sorry, AX times 31.5. Or better yet, 31.5 AX is equal to 100. And AX, I am getting 3.175 meters per second squared. So I'm gonna write that down again. 3.175 meters per second squared. That is our result for AX. And there we have it, our solution for question 2.67. Thank you for watching. And if this solution was helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe for next time. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments or send me an email. Thanks. See you next time.